In this lecture, we will find out the index formula for a 2D array wherein the elements are stored in column measure order. So, uh, the column measure order element is different from the row measure order element in this uh, that the, if the elements of first column is stored first in the memory followed by the element of the second column and so on and so forth. It means that for the computation, we will think that uh, if this is the uh, array and L1 is the first index on the row side, L1 plus 1 will be in the second index. Let's say U1 is the last index. Similarly, L2, L2 plus 1 and so on and so forth, U2. Fine. So, uh, the elements of first column are stored first means this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one and this one. After this, this element will be stored. So, after this, the pattern will be stored like this and after this, the element, this will be stored. Fine. Now, let us take uh, all those assumptions that we took in the 1D and the 2D array. That the first index is, let's say, starting from 1. On the row side and the column side, both. So this is first column, second, first row, second row, third row and so on and so forth. Let's say there is some ith row and the last row is u1. Similarly for the column side, first column is 1, second column is 2, third column is 3 and so on and so forth. Let's say some jth column in between and the last column is u2. Fine. Every element is requiring one byte for the storage. This is also our assumption. So the index of the address of the first element is let's say alpha. Now, what will be the address of this element? This element is a21. This is equals to alpha plus 1. What will be the address of this element which is a31? This will be alpha plus 2. So, what will be the address of this element which is a u1 and 1? So this will be equals to alpha plus u1 minus 1. You see if it is 3 here it is plus 2, if it is 2 here it is plus 1. Similarly if it is u1 here it will be u1 minus 1. The address of this element will be 1 more than the address of this one. So address of a1, 2, first row, second column element. This is equals to alpha plus u1. If it is 1 more than this obviously it will be plus 1 plus 1 and minus 1 will be cancelled out, it will be alpha plus u1. So can I assume that I have stored u1 element to the first column and then gone to this. That's why it is alpha plus u1. If I am interested in finding out the address of a13, this will be equals to alpha plus u1 plus u1. It means alpha plus 2 into u1. Similarly, if I am interested in finding out the address of Let's say a14, this will be equals to alpha plus 3 into u1. If it is 2, it is 1 multiplied with u1. If it is 3, it is 2 multiplied with u1. If it is 4, it is 3 multiplied with u1. Similarly, if I am interested in finding out some jth column address, first element of jth column, this will be alpha plus j minus 1 into u1. Fine. Now, if I am trying to find out a 2j means this element. This will be alpha plus j minus 1 into u1 plus 1. And if this element it will be a3j which will be equals to alpha plus j minus 1 into u1 plus 2. Fine. And if it is a ij let's say this will be equals to some this element alpha plus j minus 1 into u1 plus i minus 1. If it is 3, it is plus 2. If it is 2, it is plus 1. If it is i, it will be i minus 1. So this is a preliminary formula with the assumptions for the 2D array. Now let us remove those assumptions. The first assumption is that every element is taking one element for the one byte for the storage. If I remove that assumption, then a i j will be equals to alpha plus j minus 1 into u1 plus i minus 1 and this quantity multiplied with n. Fine. Now remove uh, the assumptions that uh, one in, uh, every index is starting from 1. Now the index are start starting from L1 and L2 respectively for the row and the column side. So alpha plus 
j will be replaced by j minus lower bound plus 1 and j is towards the column side so this will be l2 plus 1 u1 on the row side so u1 minus l1 plus 1 i on the row side so i minus l1 plus 1 hold sorry this will be that is minus 1 also for i it is i minus l1 plus 1 and minus 1 separately similarly for the j also j is will be replaced by j minus l2 plus 1 and minus 1 is also there so this is cancelled out this is cancelled out the formula becomes alpha plus j minus l2 into u1 minus l1 plus 1 plus i minus l1 whole quantity multiplied with n so this is the index formula for the address of ij element in a 2d array where the elements are stored in column measure order thank you